my thoughts. This amendment is completely inappropriate and incompatible with the progress achieved on disability rights which your Lordship's House can be rightly proud of helping to secure. And that is quite apart from the insensitivity to me as a disabled and equal member of your Lordship's House, the trash insensitivity of the noble Lord hijacking my disability equality bill in order to advance a blatantly discriminatory eugenic agenda. Of course, I understand why those who oppose my bill are desperate to misrepresent it, to say it's all about abortion, which it barely touches, and to ignore disability equality, to ignore disability rights before birth. Their message is stark and bleak. The message is, let's ignore the fact that these disabled babies are human beings with an equal right to exist. Let's reclassify them. Let's call them fetal anomalies. Let's go one better and call them serious fetal anomalies. What does it matter that the Department of Health collects no data century on so-called fatal fetal anomalies? What does it matter as long as we can use the term to dehumanise. Well, my lords, this fetal anomaly, this proud member of your Lordship's House is having none of it. I utterly reject this medical mindset that clings to the idea that a disabled baby is a medical failure to be eradicated through abortion. I beg no one for my equality. I know I have as much right as anyone to be alive. However, should the noble Lord decide not to withdraw his amendment and instead to divide the House, I do ask humbly that all noble lords stand with me and people with congenital disabilities and affirm that we are all equal. Yeah.